fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. The mysterious phantom figure of the plains was the most famous character of the frontier days of the western United States. His heavy guns were loaded with bullets of silver. His great white horse was shod with shoes of the same metal. And in all his fights against crime and injustice, he was accompanied by his faithful Indian companion, Tonto. And now, as silver thunders down the trail, adventure comes to life once more. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, silver, Tonto! Tonto is waiting for us! Hello, Silver! Martin Gates, the banker of Three Corners, held mortgages on almost every home in town. A poor cattle year made it impossible for the people to meet their payments, and Gates foreclosed without mercy. The Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, hoping that they could aid the poverty-stricken people, made their way toward the community. We join them as they near the town. If Martin Gates is all that he said to be, we'll try to teach him a lesson, Tonto. He can't possibly need all the land he's grabbing. Him got right to land. There are rights here that aren't argued in law courts. Oh. In spite of what is outlined in written contracts, Tonto, men must help each other. All those people who lost their homes to Martin Gates deserve some sort of help. Not right. They didn't know that with the war ending, the price of cattle would fall too low to pay for shipping them. Uh-huh. They're given a little time, and they can get better prices for their stock and pay off their mortgages instead of losing their homes to Martin Gates for a tenth of their value. Maybe them not know about North Country. Cattle prices north of here are good. Uh-huh. But if Gates takes possession of the stock and payment of the mortgages, those people can't ship their cattle north. What we do? I don't know yet. I. What matter? Tonto, look ahead. That horse in front of the sheriff's office. Sway backed and gray. Tonto, that looks like the horse that belongs to our friends Bolivar Bates and Hacksaw Hastings. Isn't that right? Oh, oh there, Silver. That gentleman, oh, well. all right. <laughs> well, old boy, where are your partners? He knows this, Tonto. Uh, I wonder what trouble Bolivar and Hacksaw have gotten into now. <laughs> Me not know. Them all time in trouble. If they'd only learn that they can't beat the law. They try one thing after the other, and they've never yet come out on top. Ah, Tonto, there's an open window at the side of the office. Take care of Silver. I'm going to see if I can learn what they're up to before we let them know we're here in three corners. Me, wait. Steady, Silver. Steady, white fella. All right, so you introduce yourselves. Bolivar Beats and Hacksaw Hastings. What about it? In the Confederate Army, uh, what's left of it, huh? No, sir, Sheriff. We ain't in it no more. We're wearing the uniforms because we ain't nothing else to wear, that's all. Well, what do you want here? Mean to say you ain't hearing about us, Sheriff? Hush up, Hackshaw. Don't call it to his attention how backward Three Corners is when it comes to hearing things. What do you want? Sheriff, old Jeb Stewart used to brag something awful about the two of us. Why, he's frequent said that if he had a dozen more like us... 
The Yanks wouldn't have had a chance in the wall. Doesn't like you would scare them. Yes, sir. It's the steely glint in our eyes. I'll get to the point. What are you doing here? We got enough trouble around town without a couple of tramps like you here. Well, I like that. Tramps, eh? Well, maybe you can match this roll of paper money. Where'd you get all that cash? From grateful towns that's appreciated a couple of worthwhile gents like us. Yeah, and paid us for helping them in problems such as you got here. What do you know about Three Corners? You got a critter here named Gates, ain't you? Well? He took over almost everything in town, ain't he? Yeah. So none of the folks has any cash, and the town ain't got enough to even pay your salary. Get to the point. Sheriff? We aim to help Three Corners in the present deplorable situation. How? Now you got gambling here, ain't you? I did have, when the men had anything to gamble with. Just so. But the town never got nothing from it, did it? Nothing but free liquor for the law. That's me. Hey, just so. Now we... That's to... all. Let me do the talking. Sheriff, we bought us a tent from the army. And we got that same pack to board our horse. Now, if you leave us set it up and run a nice refined poker game... For them that wants to play, we'll pay a percentage to the town. A percentage? Sure. For every dollar we win, the town will get ten cents. That ain't much. If we win a thousand dollars, you get a hundred. Me? Well, uh, the town. But it's paid to you. It's the same thing, ain't it? Mm, I reckon it is. Now you're talking something like sense. And you two don't look like gamblers. Well, we... Ain't exactly you we play get... your cash against anyone that wants to play you? I'm the one that plays. Hacksaw, he just stands by to see there ain't no crooked playing. Well, if that don't beat all. I've seen a lot of strange things in my day, but no one could ever make me think that a couple with your looks was good at gambling. Uh, what about it, Sheriff? Oh, it's all right with me, if you can find anyone with cash to play with. And there's Martin Gates, ain't there? Mm. And he's always glad to win cash. Ain't no one yet has ever got the best of Martin Gates. Sheriff, you're looking right now at the man that can do it. I can't believe it, but I'm willing to be convinced. Good enough. Barbara, we'll set up our tent and get started this evening. Yes, sirree. And the ten percent of all the winnings goes to you, Sheriff. I'm warning you, though. If you lose, you better be able to pay up or I'll jail you so fast your head will swim. Oh, well, we, uh, we'll be able to pay up. Our food ain't so good in jail. So remember what I told you. Come on, Bolivar. He's making threats that don't mean nothing. And keep that game honest. I'll be around to try it for myself. Chef, we couldn't be anything else but honest. <laughs> there, Hacksaw. That big roll of Confederate paper money and a couple of genuine bills atop it done the trick. <laughs> I never... Leaping termites. Oliver, them two white horses alongside General Sherman. Tonto. Oh, it's Tonto the engine. And the masked man must be close by. There's his horse. So you two are going into the gambling business now. A pard, a, a stranger, a m mister, we... Uh, look here, we ain't busted no laws. No. I saw that you were careful to keep your word to me and get permission from the sheriff before you set up a gambling tent. Sure, that's it, mister. We was keeping our word. We was thinking of that when we called on the sheriff. What do you know about Martin Gates? He's a money-grabbing polecat. He's swindled everybody around Hi here. Hi there. What's the masked man doing? You! I got you covered, stranger. Get back in your office, sheriff. I came here to talk to you. Well, you keep your distance. Keep back, I tell you. Let's go inside and talk. You two wait for me. How do you keep them there? Me keep them. I got you covered now, stranger. Put away that gun and sit down. What's Martin Gates trying to do? Control the whole country? No. Well, that is, I don't know. He's got legal papers and they're the law. And so he's taken over most of the ranches around here. Well, what he ain't took yet, he will, doggone soon. And if he let those people keep what they own for a time, they could join the Chisholm Drive and get a good price for their stock. Yeah, I know that. So does Gates. Do the ranchers know it? Sure, but what can they do about it? They signed their land away to Gates. Sheriff, just who are you for? Huh? Martin Gates or the people? Or me? I... Now, see here. I don't know who you are, and you ain't no right to come in here masked like this. You ain't no right to talk to me like you are. But I'll answer your question, then I'll ask a few. Well? Martin Gates has darn near had to shoot me to make me serve notice on the folks when he's foreclosed his mortgages. I am again him. That helps. I am again his methods and his style, stranger. I'd do dare near anything to see him took down. Look at what I did do. What? That two old galoots with a lot of Confederate cash that they tried to make me think was genuine federal folding money 
set up a gambling tent to take Gates' cash. Then you knew they didn't have much real cash to lose. Of course I knew it. I ain't blind. And you knew Gates couldn't win much from them. I'm only hoping they'll be able to take a plenty cash from that skin flint. Sheriff, I think we'll get along. Huh? We'll meet again. Now, here, you hold on. Stay in your office. But you can And can't... put away that gun. You're not going to use it on me. That read it? How did you know? Yes, sir? We ain't aiming to break no laws. We ain't figuring You needn't on... hold them any longer, Toto. You say keep them here. Well, you kept us here right enough. Now leave us be. Let go my collar. Uh, Bolivar. Are you and Hacksaw planning to play a straight game? Uh, Hacksaw, he won't be playing. He'll just stand by and I'll handle the cards. Honestly? Huh? Oh, no. You know I wouldn't do otherwise. You mean to play an honest game? Go ahead. You ain't gonna stop us? Go on and play and do what you can to win from Martin Gates. Yowie! Hacksaw, that's a good omen. Come on, let's get our tent set up pronto. We're going after Martin Gates. But listen to me first. You're going to do it my way. The two ex-soldiers listened to the Lone Ranger, then put up their second-hand tent and installed some borrowed furniture. That evening, several men drifted in and played for small stakes with varying luck. Later, Martin Gates and Sheriff Lampson arrived and played for a full hour. Finally, Gates shouted in anger. Bless such a game. Oh, what's the matter, Banker Gates? You, you were too measly pair and you beat me. I want another deck of cards. There's something mighty crooked about this game. Now, Banker, that ain't right or just. It, it's insulting. I demand new cards. Leave! Bust out another deck of cards. Then you better get to the cafe and buy up a few more decks. Looks like Banker Gates aims to call for new cards with every deal he loses. When I win, what do I win? Uh, your deal, Banker Gates. With a full house last time, I won. I won a pot. And what did it amount to? Nothing at all. This time, I try a bluff and raise and raise. No one blame well that coyote hasn't much. But he don't bluff out. He sticks and wins. You want to deal the hand, Banker Gates? Something mighty odd about this whole thing. Banker Gates, I should resent that kind of talk. It ain't right to cast reflections on a man like me. Now leave it to the sheriff. He's playing a straight game, Banker. And that's what I thought at first. I want to look at his face and I figured the game would be honest. He don't look smart enough to be anything else. You done shuffling that new deck, Banker Gates? Cut him. Uh-huh. Not you. Get your hand off them cards. You cut, Sheriff. Anything to be obliged in. There you are. Maybe you better not play again my unconscious luck, Banker Gates. I'm said to be the luckiest man alive. Lucky to be alive, you mean? Maybe you can't afford to lose no more cash. What's that? Why, you skinny old gadfly, you, I'll show you. Let's see. Stop looking over my shoulder. Me? I didn't mean nothing. Go on, Hacksaw. Get outside where you belong. Oh, there ain't no use me staying outside no longer. There won't be no one else getting a chance to play tonight, even if I do get him interested, Bolivar. Sure there will. The banker won't stick much longer. I'll stick till I get back my losings. I'll get square if it takes me all night. Maybe I should quit while I'm ahead. Oh, no, you don't. Pick up them cards and play them. All right, then. Now, the stakes are going up. I feel my luck's changing. I'm afeard you're right, Gates. I'll play these. Huh? I'm standing pet. How many cards do you want? Me? Oh, give me three cards. <laughs> Drawn to a pair, eh? And me sitting here with a full house. All right. There's your cards. I got a notion you're trying to bluff me again, Banker Gates. For how much? Oh, let's get this done with. I got openers. What's your bet? There'll be no piker. I won't be. I'll bet uh, 20 bucks. 20? Why, you cheap skin flint, after all you want from me, you bet $20? You can raise as far as you want, Banker Gates. As far as I want? Yep. I'll raise five hundred dollars. Oh, careful, Banker Gates. He won't dare to see me. Mr. Gates, I still got a notion that you're bluffing. So I'll call you. Where's your skinny hide? You ain't no right to call me. You ain't no right to think I'm bluffing. Maybe you got the cards to beat a pair of queens. If you have, the pot's yours. I ain't a doggone thing. How'd you know I didn't have? Sheriff, this game's crooked. Stand aside. I'm going to get back my money or drill that cheating crook plumb through the heart. You're cheating. You're crooked. Gates, put down that gun. Back to Gates. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Bolivar Bates at Hacksaw Hastings schemed to win at poker from the greedy banker Martin Gates. Gates had foreclosed without mercy upon the ranchers in the district, making it impossible for them to sell their cattle in the profitable northern markets. Knowing this, the Lone Ranger watched the progress of the game from outside the tent. But when the banker finally lost his temper and shot point blank at Bolivar, the masked man quickly entered. You only killer! You shot my partner! You killed Bolivar Beach! That's enough of that shooting. Who's this masked man? Drop that gun. You're covered. Drop it. Me help him, old man. Get him out of here, Tonto. Sheriff, you're putting this man under arrest, aren't you? You're doggone right I am. Ice your hands, Gates. I had reason to shoot. I had reason. It was a card game. That's for a jury to decide. And I'll be on hand to tell that jury how square the game was. Why, Bolivar wouldn't cheat. We'll stay here with Bolivar, Sheriff, and see if there's any chance to save him. Yeah, you're coming to the Calaboose, Banker Gates. No, no, you can't do that to me. Who says I can't? I better take care of my partner's winning. But let, let me look at him. Let me see how bad he's hit. Get going. You already done enough to him. I'd drill you myself if I wasn't sure the Lord hang you for this. On your way now. But the mask man, who's he? Ain't no concern of yours who anyone around here is now. You won't be around town. The sheriff promptly threw Gates into jail to await trial for the shooting of Bolivar Bates. There, the banker could learn nothing of what happened in town since his arrest. From the window of his cell, he saw the Lone Ranger passing by. He called to him. Hey there! You calling me? Yeah, come here, will you? What did you want? How bad hurt is Bolivar? Is he he killed? You'll hear at the trial. Last it won't nobody tell me nothing. What has the sheriff said? Him? He won't say nothing. Neither will the deputy. They're all again me every plain one of them. You can't blame them. What have you ever done to make people like you, Martin? Well, I... You've taken their homes, their ranches, their cattle. You've taken everything they worked hard to earn. That's just business. Other bankers have made profits without taking advantage of their customers. Who are you to tell me what I should do? I'm just explaining why you won't stand much chance at your trial. Yeah. Have you heard much about what folks think? I've talked to a lot of people. What did they say? They feel that you shouldn't be given any more chance than you gave them. Gosh. You see, Gates, 12 men will be chosen for the jury. The majority of those will be people whose land you've grabbed. I've got to do something. I'll hang for sure. I've got to do something. Come on, Silver. I don't want to hang. I'll get out of this some way. Sheriff! Hey, Sheriff! Come here, Sheriff! I got to talk to you, Sheriff! The banker shook the door of his cell and shouted until the sheriff came to the barred door. Sheriff! Sheriff! Come here! Sheriff! Sheriff! Quit making all that noise! But this is important. Well, what do you want? I ain't got much time. I'm going to get out on bail. There's a lot of things I have to do. Mm-hmm. You know darn well I can't let you out on bail. But Sheriff, You're I... You're in on a charge of murder. You can set the bail any figure you want to. I don't care what it is. I ain't trying to run away. And what are you so head up about? I gotta get out. I, I gotta see people. For what? I reckon folks have seen all they want to you. I want to talk to them. I don't know about that. Sheriff, I'll do anything you say if you'll just give me the chance. I don't want to be hung. I... Well, if I take you out of here, the mob might lynch you. I'll take that chance. Look here, Sheriff. You can handcuff me and take a dozen guards along. Just let me get out. I, I've got to see some people. What for? Everyone in town's against me. You won't get no jury that'll give me a fair trial. I wonder whose fault that might be. It's mine. It's mine. I save it. That's why I've got to get out. I've got to talk to people. You won't regret giving a man a chance to live. If I go on trial now with every man in town set dead against me, I'll swing for sure. Mm-hmm. I reckon a man's entitled to a fair trial. Sure he is. And an impartial jury. Well, uh, I'll think it over, Gates. You've got to let me out. Uh, I reckon that could be arranged if uh, if you go out well guarded. The sheriff smiled to himself as he released the banker under guard. Gates wasted no time calling on the people he had driven from their homes. He went first to Jeremy Burke. What do you want here? We're getting out in this place as soon as we can. We got till the first of the month, Gates. You told us that yourself. Hold on, Burke. You ain't got to leave. Uh, where do you hear what he says, Burke? I changed my mind. I ain't foreclosing. 
You ain't foreclosing. I'm going to renew your mortgage like you asked me to. Your what? Yes, here. Here's the new mortgage. You just sign here and go on living here. This place is still yours. And you can pay me the cash you owe me when you get it. Well, I'll be... Don't you see, Bert? That leaves you free to dispose of your cattle. And with the cattle my own again, I can sell it? Sure you can. Wherever there's a market? Certainly, wherever there's a market. I can join the Chisholm Cattle Drive to the north. By thunderation, what's come over the banker? Martha, did you hear what Gates done with Jeremy Burke? What's that? He renewed his mortgage. Burke is going to keep his cattle. Who's that coming here? Well, I'll go see. Hey, Sid, I got to talk to you. Banker Gates. How'd you get out of jail? He's under guard, ma'am. Here, here's the mortgage. What do you mean? I mean, I'm going to renew your mortgage. I ain't foreclosing on you. But you already have. I didn't mean to. I don't want to take your home or your cattle. Here, just sign this. It's a new mortgage, and you can pay me when you get the cash. Well, I... Go on, man. Sign it. The bankers had to change your heart. Martin Gates, renewing the mortgages on liberal terms, hurried from one place to another. His debtors were astonished, and the news of the banker's actions spread like wildfire. Those who'd already lost their homes rushed to interview Gates before he could change his mind again. Are you renewing my mortgage, too? What about me, Gates? Can we keep our land? Are you going to let us have our cattle? I'll pay you as soon as the cows are sold. This line right up here. I got new mortgages for every one of you. I ain't going to foreclose on nobody. Hey, go to What's your name? Them pretty of the bar key. All right. You foreclosed. You drove us out. We've been wondering where we was going to sleep next week. You're going to sleep right on the bar key. You're going to keep the bar key. Here's your paper. Sign right here. What about me, Gates? What's your name? Sam Tyndall. All right, Sam. I got your paper here somewheres. You can pay me when you're ready. Who's going north with cattle? I am. So am I. Me too. We can join the Chisholm cattle drive. We can get good prices to the north. Next man, Third step up north. here. Hurry it up now. Hurry it up. What we owe. I've got to get through all these papers before sundown. And then the sheriff's taking me back to jail. Never in the history of Three Corners was there so much activity and excitement. Toward sundown, when Gates, tired and exhausted, was again in his cell... He saw countless herds of cattle being driven northward past the jail. The banker stepped to the door and called to the sheriff. Sheriff? Sheriff, I want to speak to you. Well, what's on your mind now, Gates? All them cattle going by. They're all going to join Chisholm. With the drive to the north, eh? Huh? Yep. They can sell the cattle there, can't they? Sure they can. Get good prices for it. You know, Sheriff, it's, it's a funny thing. Well, all my life in making money, I... Never been half as contented as I am right now. In spite of the fact that you're waiting trial for murder? Yep, in spite of it. I just wish... You wish what? I wish to goodness I hadn't shot that poor critter. Huh. Ain't likely a jury will hang you now, Gates. You bribed every man in town. Curious thing, though, Sheriff. It, it ain't the hanging that bothers me. No? It's the killing of the man. I don't know if... Something happened to me today, seeing all them folks with their faces lighted up with smiles. Looks I... like you had a good lesson, maybe, huh? Right. That was the prisoner, Sheriff. Come in, stranger. Come in. He's a changed man. I heard he'd been doing a lot around town today. Sheriff, who is this masked man? What's he doing around town, anyhow? Well, Gates, he come here to investigate you. Me? Good fortune, son, old Bolivar and Hacksaw here. Look here. Can't you tell me how Bolivar Beach is? I ain't even sure he's dead. Come in, Bolivar. Well, Sheriff. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm a feeling all right. Fact is, I'm feeling uh, frustrated. You. Howdy, banker. You feel like playing some more poker? That man, he's alive. He's walking. He ain't even wounded. It was generally believed, Gates, that if you lost money, you'd lose your head. You did that very thing and drew your gun. Yep, you sure enough did that. But I shot. Well, that's what you spent this time in jail for, Gates. Drawing and shooting a man over a game of poker. But he ain't even wounded. Ain't your fault, Gates. You sure shot straight enough. That warden in the blank cartridge you fired most knocked the wind right out of it. Blank cartridge? Yep. You see, Banker Gates, 
you was figured to do just what you done. That's why your gun was slipped from your pocket and loaded with blanks while you was concentrating on the car. Who done it? Who done it? Who figured me out like that? Uh, the masked man there. That's why he let us play poker around here. After promising him we wouldn't do nothing crooked. I'll let you out now, Gates. I, uh, I reckon you've learned your lesson. Let me out. And I ain't kill nobody? I don't look dead, do I? Now, maybe you're going to regret what you done today, Gates. But it's all done and you can't recall it. You'll sign new mortgages. The funny part of it is, Sheriff, I don't regret it. Doggone it, I'm glad I done it. Have you anything else to say to the banker, Bolivar? Mm-mm, no. Reckon not, I... Think hard. Oh, uh... Oh, yes. Uh, Gates. I come to give back what I won from you. Huh? You mean you're going to give back the money? Yep. Minus your 10%, Sheriff. You see, we didn't win that cash fair. It was a darn good scheme just the same, Sheriff. You see, I'd hang around and get to see the hand that Banker Gates was dealt. And if he had anything to beat what Bolivar was holding, I'd give Bolivar the high sign. So you cheated me. You cheated me after all. Yep. And my conscience hurts me, Banker. That's why I'm returning your cash. <laughs> you cheated me. Well, by darn. I wouldn't believe that a glute that looked like you would do it. <laughs> but it looks like I got tricked all around. <laughs> by darn, I'm doggone glad of it. I never felt better in my life. You keep that cash, Bolivar. Huh? Keep it. You earned it. Well, I, I, I'd sure enough like to, but I can't do it, Banker Gates. You see, I didn't win it honestly, and my conscience bothers me. Your conscience, my eye. You're giving it back because the Lone Ranger made you, just like he made Banker Gates give back the land he took. You see, Banker Gates, in this new country, new laws must be made. Men can't live and grow with the country unless they replace the written laws with the laws of humanity and help each other. Come on there, Silver Old Boy! Saddle's waiting on the trail ahead! There's trouble! Hey! just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.